welcome to Golden Domer Boys podcast, episode number three. Uh, today, we uh, have a special guest, Justin Walters. He's a safety, and he's a three-star Notre Dame commit. Uh, I'm your host, Nolan Gentry, and this is my co-host. Yeah, I, I had a chance to, to look at some of Justin Walters. Um, you know, the notes I took, I put he's instinctual, he's decisive, he's got great range plays with his eyes up and he's locked in on his defensive cues kind of has that Kyle Hamilton range. I'll say that. Uh, I'll tell him that when, when I get the chance, um, plays in attack mode. He's not afraid to come up and make a tackle. Uh, and he doesn't quit on plays. He plays to the whistle. So I think that combination, uh, he's right up there like, uh, Harrison Smith. I mean, that that's pretty accurate, I think. So hopefully everything works out, you know, I can't wait to, to talk to him and, and see what he's got to say. And he hits hard. All righty. Let's uh, see what Justin has to say. Hey, Justin, what's up, man? Nothing much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Sure. All righty, man. Let's go ahead and get started. We already did the intro, so I just want to ask you a couple questions. I don't want to take up too much of your time. All righty, man. You are, you're compared to Harrison Smith by many Notre Dame fans with your combination of length, range, and hitting ability. How does it feel to be put in the same conversation as one of Notre Dame's greatest? Yeah, so it feels definitely feels great just to be able to be compared to somebody like that. And it just shows, like, one of the biggest reasons I committed was because of the sense of community. And you can see that they just – I'm I'm not the highest-ranked player, but they still brought me in and accepted me as one of, uh, as one of them. So it's like it's really it, – it means a lot. Nice. Yeah, man, it's – it's uh, Notre Dame is one of the best uh, universities in the nation, obviously, and we are uh, definitely glad to have you on board. I've watched a bunch of your film, and and the uh, sky's the limit for you, man. You're a very talented player. Thank you. Yeah, Justin, I mean, like uh, Nolan was saying, I watched some of your film as well. I love how you play in attack mode. Um, I mean, you got that Kyle Hamilton range is what we call it now because we know what it is. Um, so it, happy to have you. Uh, you remind me a little bit of Harrison Smith. You also remind me of a guy, and you might know him because you're Chicago-based, uh, Tom Zubikowski. Uh He's got that boxer mentality. He'll just come hit you in the mouth, get up, you know, say nice play and keep moving. So, you know, excited to have you there. Yeah, I had a question for you. So I know you're a Chicagoland uh, kid. Are you a big Bears fan, or who's your favorite team? Man, you know – I just go from game to game, and whoever's right. losing, I usually pick for them. I don't really have a, a favorite team, but I'm a Chicago fan, so either the Cubs or the Sox or the Bears. Or the, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, ever since you made your first trip to South Bend for Notre Dame's home game against New Mexico, I uh, saw that your interest was heavily towards Notre Dame. What, what caused that? You know, so – I, before that game, I went on a couple of visits to other places like um, Wisconsin, Iowa, um, just places like that, Michigan State. And when I went to Notre Dame, it was definitely the most personal. They they, uh, they really treated you, the people, the recruits, with with respect. Not with respect, but just like like they were already committed. It, it felt like I was already committed. And I just felt like it wasn't the same at other places like – on game days, some days at other places, you just go to the college, you go to the game, and then you leave. But at Notre Dame, it was got a whole tour. They had people guiding us around, got to meet all the coaches, talk for some. So yeah, it was just it was just a really good visit in, in terms of that. And when I when I went into that locker room, as you saw from that picture, it was just I was looking up the lockers, and I just felt like it was after hearing they gave us a spiel on like. Uh, what they have to offer, and I just knew, like, at that point that uh, that was a place I wanted to be. Felt like it was home. Yeah, for sure. And then later on, um, I went to some more games, and all the games I went to during the season were – it was, like, raining. Like, one of the Michigan games I went to, it was pouring. No Michigan versus Notre Dame, game, actually. It was pouring. The Wisconsin game I went to was raining. But the only game that was – the sun was out, it was shining. That was a Notre Dame game. So that just gave me a sign that it was the right place yeah. to be. 
seeing the shine on those gold helmets probably helped That's a little right. bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, for sure. A little brighter there. So you mentioned uh, Notre Dame feeling like home, but how much did Notre Dame being close to home factor into your decision? That was a pretty big factor because um, my siblings, so my older brother goes to West Point, and that's pretty far, and he can he can barely come home. Mm-hmm. So I know how that is, and it'd just be nice to be able to come home a little more than him because I know how that how hard that is for him. And my my sister goes to Miami of Ohio, and she used to come home a little more. And mm-hmm. it would be nice to, if I have the opportunity to be able to come home and be with them. Yeah, two and a half hours. I mean, it's that's close enough. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Have you decided on if you're uh, going to ro- enroll early to the university? Yeah, so I'm going to be, if I can, I'm going to be enrolling early. But with um, this coronavirus thing, since I'm not sure if summer school is going to be canceled yet. So if they cancel summer school, then I won't be able to graduate early. But if they like have it online or something or school's back um, before that, then I'll be graduating early. Awesome. That's good. Yeah. Speaking of the coronavirus, I mean, I, I see a lot of uh, incoming rep- recruits. We had uh, Gabriel Rubio on earlier in the week. He's out there lifting up fire hydrants. What are you doing to stay busy? Uh, wh- how are you getting creative? Yes, yeah, so um, we have – first we have um, my brother, his college coach has sent him some workouts to do at home. Mm-hmm. So we do those, and then – for the more heavy things, like the heavy lifts, we have <laughs> – we, so we take backpacks that we – there are some, like, worn-down backpacks, and then we fill those with bricks and rocks. And then we take – we actually have a shovel, and we put the, uh, the the backpacks on either end of the shovel, and then we do deadlift with that. We do RDLs and squat. So that's, that's how we get our – Yeah, man. That's awesome. I love Sometimes it. Sometimes those home workouts are just as effective, man. That's, yeah. that's good that you're finding a way to do it. Sure. That's cool, man. I was uh, reading in an article that uh, you said Brian Kelly had a big impact on your family. What's it like being able to have full trust in your coach? That was another thing that, that really made it easy for me to just go with Notre Dame because, like, if he can be like that around my family, then I know that he can definitely treat all the players like family. Like, it just felt like the connection there and I know that family is really important to him and that just means a lot because you want to be in an environment like that when you're even like you're playing football there you're going there for football but you also want to have a family environment and it be family centered first yeah joining Notre Dame you're a part of the Notre Dame family now man it's more than football that's right for or sure. for 40 <laughs> yeah I like that saying yeah me too I, I I listened to his uh he was on the radio today or uh, by another show. Um, and, man, every time he opens his mouth, like, that's just a guy you want to listen to, uh, you know. So I think you made a great choice. Um, I got one more question for you. What is your favorite part about playing safety? My favorite part? Yep. Being able to come down on that run and those sweeps, just being yep. able to cover ground and, and hit people, you know. Yep, that's well, Harrison Smith right there. <laughs> absolutely man yeah man you're you, you play in attack mode i love it can't wait to see you something that we need man I'm, I'm happy to have you thank you all righty man well i appreciate your time i appreciate you more than ever for coming on man sure all righty man go irish take care go hey, irish nice talking to you uh thank you guys again um again we have dropped a shirt now um if you guys are interested again you can follow me uh, on twitter at nolan gentry 34 and dm me about the shirt and i'll give you uh insight and details on when we can get it to you etc or you can uh, dm kyle at irish mockery and do the same yeah and don't forget to follow us on uh on youtube golden domers podcast uh subscribe to our channel man we got a lot of good stuff coming up uh and and thank you for for watching thank you guys go irish go irish